Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we want to talk a little bit about the weep hole on the bottom of the transmission of this Kubota tractor and probably many other Kubota tractors too. I'm not sure if you, if your tractor has a wet clutch, it may not have this weep hole. I'm not sure. But if it's got a dry clutch like what's in this model tractor, it probably does have a weep hole. If it has a dry clutch, two-stage clutch, single-stage clutch, it probably has this weep hole. And we'll put in a picture of what that weep hole looks like right here. I'm going to crawl up underneath the tractor and you'll see that little plunger. And if you push it up, uh, sometimes water will come out of it. So what is that for? Um, and I see that question asked in a lot of the forums. They'll put a picture up and they'll say, what is this? What is it for? So what that's for is it's a vent and a weep hole to drain any moisture that accumulates inside the bell housing of the transmission. So the bell housing of the transmission is the part of the transmission that attaches to the engine and it houses either a torque converter on an automatic transmission or a clutch on a manual or a hydrostatic drive transmission. So that weep hole allows moisture from condensation and stuff like that to drain out of there and a little bit of moisture is normal because as the metal heats up in the daytime and then cools down at night and then heats up again and then you got your uh, humidity factors and all these other factors come into play it will cause the inside of this metal housing to sweat and condensate that water needs somewhere to go and it comes out of that weep hole at least it we hope it does now, if you ever inspect that weep hole and you find uh, hydraulic fluid or transmission fluid, now on these Kubota tractors, hydraulic fluid and transmission fluid are one and the same. They use hydraulic fluid as the transmission fluid. It's like that on many of these tractors. If you do see hydraulic fluid coming out of that weep hole, then you have a problem on this end of the tractor. Let's take a look at some places in here where it could be leaking from. So in this camera view, we can see we've got, this is the input shaft for the transmission. The clutch actually slides up onto the spline shaft and as it turns, it turns the transmission. This sleeve right here is what the throwout bearing slides on. This input shaft is located inside of here, and there's a seal inside of there. Additionally, all the way in the back, back here, this thing bolts in. You see it's got bolt right here. Bolts in all the way around, and there's a seal inside of there that seals the transmission fluid. If that seal goes bad, it's gonna leak transmission fluid. Now it could leak out right around the back of the transmission here where, the, where it mounts up, or it could leak out right around here. So that's what you're gonna be thinking about if you, if you you know, check that weep hole and you find hydraulic fluid coming out of there. You've probably got a bad seal in there and it's going to take a little bit of doing to get that seal replaced. Now let's take a look at the front of the motor up here inside the bell housing. And on this tractor we have removed the, um, the clutch, the pressure plate, and the flywheel is removed. The flywheel sets up on this ridge right here and bolts into these bolt holes. 
there's a seal right around here and that is the main seal for the engine now if you've got motor oil coming out of that weep hole then chances are that seal is bad and it's leaking occasionally you could see um, motor oil and some antifreeze mixed in it if you see that then you've got an even bigger problem um, not only is the seal bad back here which is leaking motor oil into the house and leaking out the weep hole but you've also got a problem with either a blown head gasket a cracked head or a cracked block which is allowing the antifreeze coolant to mix with the oil and then come out through that blown seal so there's four things that you could see coming out of that weep hole water from condensation transmission fluid or hydraulic fluid from a failed seal in the transmission motor oil from a failed main seal at the back of the engine a rear main seal motor oil or motor oil mixed with antifreeze and if you find motor oil mixed with antifreeze you got a whole lot bigger problem than just splitting the tractor and replacing that seal it's good to know this information and what to look for um, then you can kind of make a decision whether or not you want to tackle the job and try to fix it yourself or get some help from your local dealership um, pulling a tractor apart like this is a huge job it's a lot involved the complete electrical system from here all the way back to the back of the tractor had to be taken out half of the electrical system on the front of the tractor on that side over there had to be taken out so you know it's a lot to it, it it's it, it's it was a job <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to seize this opportunity while this thing's apart to show you guys some of the things that's going on inside this transmission that you can look for on the outside of the transmission to give you some type of indication as to the health of your tractor transmission and engine anyway I hope this helps I hope it shed a little bit of light on what that weep pole is what it's for what you're looking for what you should see and not I wouldn't be alarmed if I seen a little bit of condensation coming out it wouldn't bother me in the least if you're seeing a lot of water or a lot of antifreeze or a, a lot of motor or a lot of hydraulic fluid or any hydraulic fluid or any motor oil or any antifreeze coming out of there then I would be concerned very concerned and you need to investigate and find out what's going on all right I guess that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.